So by now you've probably heard of or used Higgs Field AI. In my opinion, it has some of the most powerful video effect templates that are very simple to use. A couple of weeks ago, they released their own designated lip sync and expression feature called Speak. This week, they released even more video effect templates and they just announced their own image generation model called Soul. So in this video, I wanted to do a deep dive showing you guys how to use each feature. And if you do want to give it a try yourself after the video, make sure you do click on the link in the description, which will redirect you to Higgsfield. Okay, let's have a look at the new video effect templates. There's about a dozen new ones that just got released. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos showcasing just how powerful these effects are, here are some of my favorite ones. Now let's have a look at some of the new ones. If you haven't done this before, it's quite easy. Upload your reference image and select the effect you wanna use. First, we have this earth zoom out effect, which is great for transitions and intros. Then we have this paparazzi effect, which essentially adds a flash on any character or object. Another new one is their duplicate feature, which clones the characters in one shot. Now, if you are new to Higgsfield and you wanna learn more, I just released my Higgsfield Ultra Pack Notion template, which you can download on Gumroad. It has 23 video effect examples and a few other things that you will find useful. Link is in the description if you do want to check that out. All right, now let's have a look at Speak, which is not just a lip sync tool. I would refer to it more as an expression tool. Let me show you what I mean. So when we click Speak, it will redirect us to the generation page. At the top left will be the speak motion you have selected. When you click into that, you will see the different speak motions. The name and video of each motion pretty much explains each template. Underneath that will be the option to upload the image of your character or select from a range of avatars. Right under that is where you can upload your speech or generate one using their voices. Now there's quite a lot of different voice examples to choose from. And next to it gives you the option to actually include sound effects behind the speech. On the bottom left, you also have parameters to change the tone. And they also give you the option to enter a prompt to guide the whole generation. Anyway, here's a bunch of examples that I did. You've been lied to. The truth. You don't need motivation. You need discipline. Look, if you're waiting for the perfect moment, you're going to be waiting forever. Start messy. Adjust on the way. Everyone's chasing passive income, but they're still sleeping in like it's a hobby. You want freedom? Then treat your life like a business. Another feature that was released this week is called Soul. Essentially, it's Higgsfield's image generation model, which offers different filters called visual styles. To access it, we click on create image. At the bottom, you can select the soul model. You can choose every aspect ratio you can think of. Basic generations cost one credit and high quality generations cost two credits. On the right, you can select which visual style you want. Now the notion template that I mentioned before does have 41 style examples to look at, but here are some of the images that I generated with different styles selected. Now, lastly, Higgsfield did release this canvas feature, which is actually very powerful. What you can do is upload an image of a character or an object and use the motion brush to make changes to the image. So here's a quick example using one of their avatars. So I used their paintbrush feature and highlighted his necklace. Then I entered diamond chain with cross necklace as the prompt. I was actually shocked at how good the results came out for that one. The next one I painted near his hand and added the prompt add Coca-Cola can. 
Now from those two examples, that was exactly what I wanted it to generate and there was no artifacts at all to be seen. So what are my final thoughts on Higgsfield AI? They really have been cooking the last few months. Not only are they consistent with their feature rollouts, they're also consistent with the quality of the features. I think this is a massive win for them moving into the second half of the year. And I am interested to see what they are going to release next. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.